let's discuss and look at the methods for mounting the spore trap slide sample we took in the previous video and how it's prepared for use under a microscope. Okay, now we're going to take this slide from within the spore trap. and mount it on a microscope slide. I'm going to dispense a drop of oil to eliminate the possibility of air bubbles getting underneath the slide. slide from within the spore trap. Lifts out at a 45 degree angle. We're going to set that down. Square it up. Then we're going to use a little adhesive to hold it fast at the corners so that the slide won't move during usage under the microscope. You don't have to use four corners, two is usually enough. We'll take a slip cover. Before I lay that down, I'm going to use a drop of phenol blue stain. This helps provide better resolution of the microbial spores on the slide. Goes down and this can drop on at a 45 degree angle once again to help set it in the slide. And with that we're ready to look at the slide under the microscope. Now that we have the spore trap sample mounted, we can look at it under the microscope. Okay, we have the image there and we'll pull it up on a computer so you can see it at home and have a look at what Stachybotrys looks like.